you know what you guys i think this is about the the least busy i've seen paul huff parkway in a very long time what's up you guys chet guthrie the dream poet here coming to you all from a rather beautiful evening here in cleveland tennessee and you all are probably wondering why i am standing right beside a very busy thoroughfare or i should say not so busy thoroughfare you see guys this is paul huff parkway this is a ma very ma or this is a major road here in cleveland tennessee people get back and forth to work here but you all probably don't know who paul huff is in fact i think the only way you could get an inclination on who paul huff was was stopping to see this sign where this flag is well stuck anyway guys paul huff he was a medal of honor recipient that was born and raised here in cleveland tennessee in fact he was born in a small house on june 23rd 1918. now i figured we would tell paul huff's story today on who the man is behind this road system see in this area you will often hear the names dev or desmond doss or alvin york but you won't really hear much about paul huff and honestly i think his medal of honor story is just as important to tell such as doss or york or coolidge coolidge out uh, calvin coolidge he uh he served and he lived in the chattanooga area but anyway guys for this vlog we are going to tell this man's story i figured we'd begin out here on paul huff so anyway, you guys, let's get to it. This is going to be a fun vlog. A fun Cleveland vlog. Take her down. But before we do anything, I'm going to fix this flag if I can. I mean, if I just hate that it's stuck. Stuck like that, but it looks like, well, shucks. Well, I don't want to rip old faithful. So the first place we're going to, you guys, we are going to Paul Huff's Medal of Honor Monument. Actually, I just tugged on it. So anyway, Old Faithful will still fly because the men who gave their lives like Paul Huff, they fought for this flag. So without further ado, you guys, let's get to that monument. As always, Paul Huff is as hustling and a bustling as it always is. But we're not here to focus on that. We are here to focus on the monument right here. Here is Paul Huff's Medal of Honor Memorial that is out here in Cleveland, Tennessee. It was dedicated on November 12th of 1997 by the Westside Ruritan Club and also MOF department of tennessee but yes this was dedicated to paul huff u.s army a man who served not only in world war ii but also served in vietnam and also he was the first paratrooper in united states history to receive the medal of honor here on this side facing the road is the great seal of the state of tennessee and behind it on its side which i don't think a lot of people notice here are a few names of the uh, Medal of Honor recipients for the state of Tennessee. You've got, oh, let me find him. Uh, you had Alvin York. I know I saw Alvin. Ah, you have Corporal Alvin York. Calvin Coolidge is somewhere on this. I just saw his name. And then you also got Desmond Doss on here and as well as Paul Huff. And I will say it is definitely a weird place to put such a prestigious monument dedicated to a man who was, a, was a, awarded the prestigious Medal of Honor. But you guys, from here, we're going to go to Arnold Elementary School. I'm going to tell you all the story on how Paul Huff got his Medal of Honor.
Okay now, this is way more peaceful. You have the trains in the background, you have a car going by, but other than that, compared to the loud thoroughfare that is Paul Huff Parkway, this is a perfect place to tell you all the story about what Paul Huff did to get a Medal of Honor. And the reason why I chose Arnold Elementary School to tell this story is this is because this is where Paul Huff went to school at. Now, he also went to Bradley Central High School as well, but I don't think that was the original Bradley Central that he went to, the one that stands present day. Uh, but as far as I know, Arnold Elementary, this is the same school that Paul Huff went to. The year is February 8th of 1944. Paul Huff and five other men from his patrol unit, they are out in Serrano, Italy. They are patrolling the countryside. They are looking for German enemies. Now, prior to this, Paul Huff, he had served in North Africa, which had already been a very bloody battle. He had also served in another part of Italy. But this particular day, he and his men were out in Serrano, Italy. They received gunfire from German soldiers. Now, at first, Paul Huff and his men did not know where these German soldiers were coming from. Other than the fact is they were receiving a lot of gunfire. So, in the midst of battle, and the bravery that Paul Huff shown, or showed, I should say, he broke off from his group, he crawled through a minefield while getting shot at. Mind you, again, this is a clear day, the German soldiers from above could see him. He crawled through the minefield while still getting shot at until he was 75 yards away from the nearest gunners. From there, Paul Huff jumps those gunners, he kills the entire squad there, and he destroys the gun in that emplacement. Now from there, he gets down on one knee and he continues to shoot. Again, clear as day, German soldiers are shooting at him from all directions, but Paul Huff is not giving up. He is continuing to fight for the bravery and the protection of his men. And he continued to fight while sitting on one knee. And as he got enough information, he came down off the emplacement. He crawled through mud, dirt, garbage, barbed wire, everything that you could think of while still getting shot at to get to the other side where his men were. Now Paul Huff takes this information and he goes back. He takes five other men that day and they destroy each and every one of those German emplacements. Killing off nearly all the men, the German soldiers, they surrender. As a result, over 21 Germans are killed, 27 are taken as POWs, and another 127 are misdirected into an unknown location. From there, Paul Huff's story is heard. The story of his courage and bravery and the thought to protect his men. This is how he got his Medal of Honor. However, you all must be thinking, a lot of men must have been lost during this time while German soldiers were firing on him. Well, that could not be further from the truth. Only three men lost their lives in Paul Huff's unit that day. So now you all know the story of Paul Huff and why that Medal of Honor was bestowed to him. Now, we can't really go to some of these battle locations just because it's all the way over in Europe, but there is another location that we can visit today that is not far from here. You see, I think it was about August 19th of 19, it was in the 1940s, Paul Huff was given a very warm, welcoming home. You see, it was a really, really big celebration of his. There was a parade, there was a military ball in his honor. And really, where that is today, you guys, that is present day Johnson Park. 
So we're going to visit Johnson Park and we're going to see if we can't line up anything from this coming home party that Paul Huff received after winning the, the Medal of Honor. Now it might not look like a whole lot, but here in the middle of downtown Cleveland is Johnston Park. Now at one point it was known as the city park, but when Paul Huff came home after two and a half years of serving in the military, this is where his celebration took place. You see, he had a band. They played in something similar to that gazebo right, right here kind of like a, a bandstand if you will they played for him you also had sergeant alvin york who was there that day you had another and i forgot who the name who the master of ceremonies was but right here in the heart of town this is where his party took place however sadly there is not a marker here to commemorate that because it was a pretty big party as I was saying, over at Arnold Elementary School, not far behind us off Okoy Street, that is where the parade started. It began right here down on Okoy Street, this exact street right here. It went down past the courthouse and it also went down past the Craig Mile Mausoleum, past the Civil War Monument, that's not far from here, and then it came around. But you got to think of the excitement that was there that day when people here in Bradley County got to see their boy, their, or their son of Cleveland, Tennessee. He had returned home safe. He had come back from one of the worst wars ever. A war where a German madman was trying to kill off Jewish people left and right. And it was people like him that stood up and said, we are not going to take this. I'm going to protect my people and we're going to free these people. Now, since we're walking around, there is one more place that we are going to stop at before we check out the museum. And that is where the military ball was housed during this great celebration. Here in this empty lot right here, what is now a park with the birds chirping, cars off in the distance, this is where Cleveland, Tennessee's armory stood at one time. Now, unfortunately, the armory got torn down sometime in the 70s or the 80s. I forgot what year exactly that it was torn down. But here where we're walking right now, this is where Paul Huff's celebration military ball party was held. And you probably wouldn't think of it to be that way since nowadays it's just a park, an open field. But just imagine all the music going on, all the people talking, and everyone pointing at the hero, the man of the hour, the man that was being celebrated, Paul Huff. Nowadays, there's just birds chirping. So you guys, let's head to the museum. We're going to go see the actual medal that was Paul Huff's. Just beyond these doors here at the Museum Center of Five Points is the exhibit dedicated to the one, the only, Sergeant Paul Huff. Here, just beyond this hallway right here is Paul Huff's medal as well as his uniform and other things as well. Here behind this case are the artifacts from a legend, a hometown hero that was very humble in what he did. And right there is his uniform and the medal of honor. Here it is, you guys. One of 5,600 Medal of Honors that have been presented to a soldier and infantryman that showed great courage, bravery, honor, and what it means to be an American soldier. 
And now one of the things that I want to notate, <laughs> one of the things that I want to note that is um, up here, just notice this first aid kit. You got to think he was being shot at by three different German uh, machine guns. And I'd like to think this took one of those German bullets. On the right, there's he with Alvin York. By the way, if y'all didn't know, he and Alvin York were very close friends. And here is another picture of Paul Huff when he returned home. And now, here are his dog tags. Also, he did serve in the Vietnam War as well. Actually, there he is with President John F. Kennedy. Again, probably during the Vietnam War. Um, he also helped uh, Lyndon B. Johnson present a few medals as well. And there he is with W. Clark being presented the Medal of Honor. And probably what is one of the coolest things that I've seen so far in this case, but there is a, well, actually I take that back. This is a very interesting thing, especially locally. This is the, the celebration that took place when he came home. Anyway, men such as Alvin York, others were there. Gotta think. There is Boots. And here, again, is his uniform. You guys, we are right next to glory. Something, something that is very special. You gotta think, this man nearly gave his life defending our country. So you guys, I think we're gonna go to the next spot related to this hometown hero of ours. So I think we're gonna head to his grave. You know what? This is a really beautiful view here on top of this hill. Very beautiful. Now not far outside of town, just off Okoy Street, is Hillcrest Cemetery. Now here in this beautiful cemetery, this is where Sergeant Paul Huff is buried. Now, I'd like to add that when he passed away in Clarksville back in 1997, he had an opportunity to be buried at Arlington Cemetery. However, this soldier of humility, this soldier of courage, this soldier of great valor, he wanted to be buried amongst his family and his friends. So, he was buried here at Hillcrest amongst those people. And after a few minutes of walking and searching amongst the headstones, we have found Paul Huff's grave. Now, I guess really one of the things that gives it off is the Medal of Honor flag. Now, the blue flag kind of gave it away, the Medal of Honor flag. But nonetheless, here is where Paul Huff is buried. CSM US Army served in both World War II and in Vietnam. Now there is a good story with this from what I've understood is Paul Huff, he did get out of the army after World War II, but he did come back and serve in Vietnam. From one interview, it was stated that he just felt like he missed the army. So that just kind of gives you an idea of who this man was. I mean, if you think about his story, he not only ran through a barbed wire fence covered in mines and while getting shot at by three different German gunners, also the same man who was crazy enough to not only do it once but twice and also in the same day go back and take that same German platoon. He is truly a man of honor. And I'm just surprised why we don't hear enough from him, mostly because you have Desmond Doss in Chattanooga, as well as Calvin Coolidge. But Paul Huff, his story is an amazing one. And I am just proud that I get to stand here and tell you all about some of his story today and where he's buried. It honestly makes me feel about like the time that I visit Desmond Doss up in the uh, up in the Chattanooga National Cemetery. And by the way, guys, if you want to pay your respects to Paul Huff, here is where he is buried in Hillcrest. All you gotta do is find the road where it overlooks right here. 
Um, you also have where it breaks off into three different roads. That is something you will also want to look for. Like I said, especially on days like Memorial Day, which just happened, I, I, I suggest making sure to pay your respects to this Medal of Honor recipient. Once again, I will say this is quite a beautiful cemetery. And it's hard to think in all the years that I've lived here in Cleveland. I was born and raised here, by the way. I've never been to this cemetery and it is really peaceful. And I'm really glad I got to shed some light on who Paul Huff was, mainly because I thought about it the other day I thought about it the other day while I was driving around town and I passed Paul Huff Parkway. I knew he was a Medal of Honor recipient, but I didn't know his story. And the more I got to doing my research, the more I got to see what he was about. I'm surprised why he's not talked about more here in my hometown. This man... He had some guts to do what he did out in Italy that day in February. To just imagine he broke away from his group just to take out one German gunner. That entire group came back, kept on shooting, and then he went. And then he took a group and he shut them all down. That is beautiful. So anyway, guys... This is going to be another vlog for another day. Remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Always means a lot. Goes to show that y'all care. And that y'all want to see more amazing videos. So without further ado, you guys. Actually, I say. Remember those who served this country. Remember those who paid everything for your freedoms. Anyway, you guys. Love y'all very much. Peace out, y'all.